I suspect we've all had this experience of being in a job and having a or several maybe colleagues who we just don't get along with. We get to pick our friends, but we don't get to pick our colleagues. And sometimes there's colleagues who we really connect with. We want to hang out with them outside of work and, and you know, they become friends. There's sometimes other people who we're not, we don't click with as well. And sometimes we just fall into really not liking them. And today I wanted to talk about tips to, about what to do when there's people you don't like at work. First off, it's important to look at how we are talking about that person in our head. So the thoughts we're having about that person and to separate the person from their behavior. So instead of saying, I don't like Joe, saying to ourselves, I don't like it when Joe tells me what I have to do, or I don't like it when Joe doesn't listen to what I have to say, etc. It, it makes, it depersonalizes it a bit, and then it becomes about looking at the behavior instead of the person. So that's number one. The second point is not to gossip about that person. So no matter how much frustration you have around that person, it's really, really, really important to try to curb entirely talking about that person negatively. It's really not professional. It creates a lot of stressful communication and drama within organizations. And I'll tell you that one toxic person within an organization who is gossiping about everybody around them, it's going to suck 20% of HR's resources. So if you are responding to that person that you don't like by gossiping about them, you're contributing to that toxic um, environment in the organization. The other thing I'd suggest is trying to connect with what are you feeling when the person does the behaviors that you don't like. So what is it that you're feeling? And try to reflect on, is there another time in your life when you'd felt those feelings? Is, is the reaction you're having actually related to nothing at all that this specific person is doing, but is just a pattern in your life of interactions that are challenging for you. Because I'm going to suggest that if you're having troubles with this one colleague, you may have encountered similar, similar personalities in past where you've encountered similar struggles. So somebody told me once upon a time that to change organizations is not the solution to interpersonal conflict because it's a dynamic between yourself and, and a personality that you have a hard time with for whatever reasons or experiences you've had in past and that you're just going to find that new dynamic with someone else. So when we're looking at attaining stress-free communication, yes, it's important to put boundaries around um, you know, what is okay and not okay for that person to do, but it's also about learning how to work with that person. So I hope that these tips have helped. Uh, if you're looking for more help and guidance on my website, lindsaylapaquette.com, you can find an e-guide on tips on how to manage difficult conversations at work. And you can download that and get all sorts of different ideas. Thanks for watching.